guys so i think this is the start of the vlog so good morning it's actually the afternoon i did not feel good this morning i started like with my not feeling good like the day before yesterday but this morning and last night like last night it kind of really hit me and then this morning i woke up and i was like oh my gosh but i still went to school because i had a test today so i went but basically my grandparents came over today and they took the two beds out of our guest bedroom so now our guest bedroom is like empty and something in me wants to make that room mine and I have a lot of things I want to do. It's currently 3.13. I feel extremely gross. I am sick. I'm oily. My hair is oily. Like, everything's no bueno. But basically, I'll show you guys the room. But I have not been loving my space right now. And I want to redo my room. But a part of me wants to make that room mine. But, like, also have this room. So I just have, like, two rooms. But this room is a lot bigger than that room. Like, a ton bigger than that room. That room is really, really small. And when we first moved into this house, well, when we first, like, bought this house, I told my dad to, like, take down that door or this wall right here and just make this whole thing my room because that room is literally, like, a box. It's so tiny. So, like, it was going to be the guest bedroom, but now there's not even beds in there. So, it's, like, there's nothing in there, really. So, I told him to do that, but he did not do that, clearly, because there's a wall right there. But I really am not loving my bed anymore. This is my bed now. It is from Pottery Barn Teen. And it, it was so expensive. When I tell you it was like a thousand something. Never again will I be doing that. But basically, I'm going to look it up on Facebook Marketplace and see if like they're selling Pottery Barn. Let's see, what is it called? What is that thing called? Bed frame? Let's see how much people sell them for. But I think I could definitely sell this for something because I really want to redo my room and make it a different, like, just a different space because I'm kind of getting sick of it. And I really have other ideas for this room. But I'm going to go show you guys the other room and maybe I can do something in there, like maybe get like a couch and make it like a little hangout room. Something along those lines because it's now just a spare bedroom and I might like move clothes that I don't wear every single day into that bedroom and I have a lot of clothes to put away because my mom did laundry and I still have to put them away because I've been so like I was wondering like why am I so lazy recently like everything bugs me I don't want to do anything it's because I'm getting my period and I'm sick at the same exact time so do you think I want to do anything no but a part of me has to so yeah I think I'm gonna like declutter my room and i just want a different bed frame because this bed frame that i have like i loved it like extremely loved it when i bought it but i bought that like a year ago and that is like it's huge that i've stayed with it for that long which for some people like, like i've had the same bed frame since i was born like yeah but me i'm the type of person that switches my mind and switches my like vibe like every other month so for me having this for a year is a big deal for me but I really kind of just want a new one. And I ordered my homecoming dress for my actual school dance. I ordered one and I'm excited about it. I don't know when it's going to come in. I'm excited about it. I was looking at that one forever ago and I was like, oh, I'm just going to keep looking, see what other options there are. And I literally just, like, I was just like, whatever. Like, if I don't buy one now, I'm just never going to get one. Like, there's too many options out there. So I just bought it because it was literally what I was looking for. But I don't know why it took me so long to just order it. And I want to get rid of this TV. Like, every single part of me wants to get rid of this TV. Like, there's not one thing that's holding me to this TV. Except for the fact that my dad... I don't even think I told my dad that I want to get rid of it. But I want to get rid of it. So, we're going to get rid of it. But the thing is, I really want to get, like, a huge mirror for right here. Like, that's either one option. Or, like, make, like, a collage type thing. But at the same time, I kind of want to do a mirror with, like, things around it. Because this wall is so big. That like a mirror would just take up most of the space, which is a good thing. But the thing is, I have this mirror back here that literally just, it's just perfect because it has like my lifting metal stickers and like, it's just like, kind of just like a comfort mirror. Like I just love this mirror back here. But like I think I could just put it into my closet and then like if I'm getting ready in my closet, I can just look at there and then I also have a mirror here. Or if like I do the other room that I could just, something like that. And I have some ideas for this room already in mind. I just really want to just add just my personalized touch to it. So that is what I'm thinking about doing. Because right now my life is pretty steady. Like there's nothing crazy going on. So 
I think it's time to add a little fun to it. So I'm looking on Amazon for bed frames because I'm not going to spend a bunch on a bed frame. And then I just really want to, because since I'm sick, I don't think I'm going to go to practice today because just not really feeling that. Um, don't think I can lift anything. I lifted today in my weightlifting class and it was probably one of the hardest things I've ever done. It was harder than like an actual like workout at my like weightlifting. And it was really just like simple workouts, but it was just so tiring because I'm so weak right now. For right over here under these little flower things, I might switch out the flower things for something else for like another type of picture. I like those, but maybe not for right there, but I want to get a little bit of a shelf to put my books because my books are just scattered around my room and just to put like little like sentimental things like my rock right here from sharp t top which i'm wearing a sharp top shirt today but my rock right here would like go on there and like all my little rocks from camp and just some other like little things to go on there i really i probably would go to goodwill for like half of my decorations because they have actually good stuff and then i have this doesn't like mean anything like it doesn't like really resemble or like have any reference to me because it literally says we'll leave the light on lights on for you but i think it's like in some way i have some sort of like connection to it but i can't explain it because it doesn't actually have any sort of tie to me because i obviously don't work at like at a lighthouse or have any connection to a lighthouse but it it means something to me i don't know what but it does so yeah um, I don't know where I'd hang this up yet and then we have this basket because I'm gonna get a plant to put in this basket That would probably go right next to my humongous mirror once we get that Yeah, that's the sort of vibe I'm going for the only thing is I have to convince my mom to Let me get rid of the bed because it's like it took forever to get here first of all It took like literally like nine months to come in like it was so bad <coughs> I hate this Originally I was gonna do my bed like, if I do what I want to do, my bed, like, under this window, wait, right there, like, under this window, and then, like, nightstand on this side and nightstand on the other side, but I don't really like when a bed's above a window, you know? Like, that's not really cute, so I'll probably do it, like, this way, so under this little thing right here, have my headboard and then a nightstand and a nightstand, and it'll be facing this way instead of facing this way. So instead of facing me right now, it'd be facing this window. Because I feel like that's the best kind of option. I'm going to say bye now. I'll see you guys later. I'm going to do some planning and figure out what I want to do with the guest room. Because there's nothing really in there. So I can figure it out. And maybe that would be my future room. But also this room is so big. Like why would I get rid of this? No, not get rid of it. Like move into that room. It's so tiny. But at the same time, what if that's cozy? You know? I don't know. That room's kind of scary. I don't know. Hey, guys. I just got back from school. And my lemon came. So let's open it. Okay, I got an aligned tank in the color strawberry milkshake. Should I try it on real quick? I'll try it on when I put shorts on because I'm in jeans right now. Yeah, I'm going to go try that on. I'll be right back. Okay, Mom. So I want to redo my room. Mm -hmm. And you know what I want to do? Free do your home. Yes, but like I need to get rid of a couple things. The TV. Obviously. Your grandma is going to take it. Okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. And? Don't tell me the bed. Because that won't happen. No, it won't happen. That was $2,000. Yeah, we'll sell it. Okay? Sell it? No. I don't want it. What do you want now? <laughs> do something more simple. It's not gonna be expensive. It's just, this is simple. Well, because I want my bed in the middle of the room. I don't want it in the corner anymore. Alison, you're gonna make me so crazy. And I kind of like a part of me kind of wants to make the guest room my room. <sighs> okay, leave this bed here for guesses and go to the other room. No, because I will have to do something else for this room. It's not going to just sit here. Like what? Like a little hangout room. But this Okay, room is, you this, can hang out with the bed this here. This room is so much bigger, so I might keep this room, but I just need to figure out... I need to figure out how to Ven. sell this. No, tú no lo vas a vender. Porque nadie te va a dar dos mil dólares por esto. You don't. It can be like a thousand. Or... Yeah, right. Ven, Chanel. Mom, it's literally brand new. Chanel, do you want to buy Alison B? Yes or no? Do you what want do you to, want buy me to do with it? Leave it here. Put it in the guest bedroom? <laughs> yes. Alison, can you shut up? 
I'm not even talking that much. <sighs> You should be at the school in weightlifting with your mind busy because when you don't have nothing to do, you do this stuff. I've been stuff. thinking about this forever, Mom. I've literally been thinking about this for like two months, but obviously I knew you were going to say no. Well, no. But I'm convincing you now. Yeah. Mention it. Because I have other ideas for my room and I don't want... Like want... what, Alison? Okay, so that wall, it's instead of having this humongous TV, I'm going to have a mirror on it. Mm-hmm. A big mirror. That desk, I think it, it should stay there. I'm not sure. We got that for free. So it doesn't really matter if I want to get rid of it. Because we didn't pay for it. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if I will... I don't know if I'll keep it. Because I don't really use it at all. So that's like the only thing that makes me like... I don't really know if I should keep it. Where are you going to put all the things that you have there? All that stuff literally doesn't have to be there. It's just there because... Okay there's just no really reason yeah i want a bed a new bed frame and then just to decorate this place a little bit get some pictures to hang up and stuff like that mm -hmm. but a part of me kind of wants to move into the guest bedroom like I kinda with what want, bed like i well we would need to get a bed or we could just take this bed I'll but, put that, it in. but that room is a mess there's so we much put that like, mess in this no because i would still use this room too mm -mm. You have to choose one. Why not? Why? Because you cannot have everything. Well, there's none of it's being used. Well, no, I have my mess. Yeah, we can go to the garage. No. Okay, well, then I'll keep this room, I guess. It's just so big. I don't know if I like that. Like, the bigness of it, I think it makes me, like, <laughs> it's too big. <laughs> and then when you, stay, when you stay six months in that room, oh, my God, this is so tiny. I need more space and claustrophobic. <laughs> Okay, kind of. Like, I think it'll be better. At least you have a problem. I've obviously... I'm not going to say Thanks God you know that. But it's not a bad problem. It is. No, it's not. Mm -hmm. You rather me have other problems or you rather me have this problem? I don't... I want that you don't have any problem. Okay, well, this is my problem. Emily! Emily, Emily also wants me to redo her room. She told me. Well, who put this in my room? When are they going to come get rid of my TV? Next week. Okay, guys, here's the top. It's cute. My mom and Allison are talking about re redoing Allison's room. Allison wants to redo her room. My mom doesn't want to let her. So, yeah. You guys can go listen to them argue about it. Wow, one year. One year. Okay, but you're, you should be surprised that I liked it for a whole entire year. Oh, yeah. I'm surprised. Wow. Now what? know me i changed my mind so much and don't get me wrong i love this bed like it's so cute but it's just not really what i'm like liking anymore what are you liking i just want something that i can put in the middle on the side like whatever i want this bed it's like i can't do anything but you knew it. that when you bought it i knew that when i bought and it. and what i said when i buy you this bed you said i have to use it for at least a year <laughs> no i didn't say that yes you did i didn't say that yes you did no. i remember this still goes for two thousand dollars this bed so we could definitely sell it. Who is going to pay $2,000 for this bed? Same person who would buy it from Pottery Barn. They can buy it uh, and it there. And it takes nine months to come. You saw how long it took for them to get it to us forever. Comment down below if you want to buy Allison's bed. Yeah, but you do like come down to Florida to pick it up. Maybe they live here yeah. in Florida. Yeah, if you live in... Allison, shut up. If you live near us, come pick it up. We sell it for $1,500. $1.2. $1.3. 1.4 okay 1.445 okay just comment down below because guys i will show you that my mom and my dad they came today because we're gonna have and this is blurry family from cuba coming to my mom's house and they need bed so i didn't use the bed that i have in the guest room so they came today and they took the two bed that i have in this room and the table that it was in the middle i don't know if you remember so now this room is empty this thingy over here they're gonna take it too because they're gonna use it so family can use it to put their clothes also this is my white christmas tree that i'm gonna give it to them to the new family from cuba so they can have a christmas tree because all of this is christmas decor because this huge box is the Christmas tree that I bought this year after Christmas season was over. It was on sale. It's huge. It's amazing. So that's the one that I'm going to be using 
for this Christmas and all the decor from last year I'm gonna give it away or oh, some of them but all of this is Christmas decor and you know it's almost October so Christmas is around the corner and this room is gonna be empty for a while this frame or this quadro I bought it almost for $500 at Marshall and now I don't know where to put it maybe one day I'm gonna decor this room for guests and I'm gonna put it in this wall but I don't know what to do with this because it doesn't match with my decor anymore but it was super expensive so in this closet you don't want to see the mess but it's all the maleta luggage the pillows that i use when i have my surgery more christmas decor jacket for winter shoes but this room is like k you know a mess room a storage room and it's gonna be like that for a while until i feel the needed of decoring i don't know you say it like that but here is the sneak peek of Allison's room. Look how amazing and beautiful this bed is. And she says she doesn't like it anymore. And it was $2,000, more than that. And we wait more than nine months to come. So I don't think you should do anything with that. Allison, that closet is a mess. Look at that. The clean clothes is still in the same basket. Unbelievable. Look how many bottles of water. Well, this one is mine. I was drinking this protein because I was hungry. Think about it. I don't think it's a good idea. I stay with this beautiful room. Um, you're going to change your mind when you're busy. So, Hello, guys. So I have this choker on because I found it in the guest bedroom. I don't know if it's what I'm going for. I think I'm going to change this necklace to my globe necklace and it'll look better. But anyways, um, a package just came in, and I'm pretty sure it's for me. It might be the dresses that were supposed to come for the homecoming that already passed. I think that's what it is. And if it is, that's going to be so annoying. Literally, just Lucy in the Sky is actually so dumb. It is from that place. Look, Lucy in the Sky. Because, like, they, like, made it mandatory. Like, you can't pay express shipping. Like, it's going to come between the 3rd and the 15th. And it came on the 15th. Like, they didn't even give me a choice for express shipping, because if they give me a choice, I would have paid express shipping. But they didn't even give me a choice. They were just like, no, we're going to send it out this time. Like, and only one of them came in. Where is the other one? So, basically, this is which one I got. This looks so bad. Wait. <laughs> it was supposed to be a romper. It's supposed to look a lot different than this. I'm not really liking it at all. I was going to return it anyways. Like, I'm not keeping this because I already ordered a new dress for the one that's actually happening. So I don't need this. I would try it on, but honestly, it doesn't even look cute. It doesn't really look that nice, and I'm not going to keep it. So I'm going to just put it right back in the packaging. And if you're going to order from Lucy in the Sky, just check the dates because luckily I found another dress. But if you weren't as lucky as I was, you might be stuck with no dress and no homecoming. I'll probably take off the pearl one because it just doesn't match. And right now I'm planning a trip because we have a day off in November. So I think we should take advantage of it because we have a day off. So it's like one day at school. They will like miss but we're not necessarily missing it because there's no school anyways and we can just go on a little trip a little weekend trip and i kind of want to go to san francisco because i've never been there before it's in california which we've been to california but never like san francisco we've only been to like anaheim california but i feel like it's probably like, the most boring part of california honestly but i love california like i love the weather all that stuff this necklace is a little bit itchy so yeah i want to go to san francisco because i want to see the golden gate bridge there's this girl on my snapchat um she is like she already graduated she graduated in 2022 so she was like this last class and she's studying abroad right now and she's studying abroad in spain and it, it's so pretty. It's like amazing. But I can't wait to be her one day. I just can't wait for my moment. But I still have three more years of school left. It's not like I'm rushing it. Like it can go by slowly, like no rush. But at the same time, like I can't wait for it. Like it's, I am. I'm going to Hawaii then I'm studying abroad in Europe because I can just fly from different countries in Europe. 
Yeah, and then when I get to like homesick, then I'll come home and do a semester like or a year here And then I can like settle down if that's what I want to do if I just want to keep on going Then we'll keep on going because that's kind of just what I want Like typical jobs like I have a big passion for real estate like I love homes and I love houses and like renovating them and stuff, but I'll probably just like I don't know put that on hold until I like you know settle down I really, really, really want to go on a road trip. And I just hate school. I, there, there's so many places I want to go. But I'm really excited because I'm going on a trip in November. Like a for sure trip. But I'm going alone. <laughs> yes, I'm going on my first solo trip. And I'm excited about it. Um, I don't know what Emily's doing. She... I am probably saying. Okay. Yeah, she... Can I think it's us? Yeah, so like Emily is not going to my trip and neither are my parents, but my parents are going somewhere as well. They're going to Las Vegas. They're, yeah, they're going to Las Vegas. So yeah, we're all really going to be away for Thanksgiving break, but we all come back before the break's over. So we'll all be here for... But the day that my parents were planning to leave, where in that's the day I have my agriculture field trip. Because yeah. it got moved. But it, I, I like leave, go on a field trip and then go straight into break. Like I really just want to take a whole week and go somewhere. But it's just like not possible because like school. Mm -hmm. uh, like and also like I have, have weightlifting. Up. And I have cheer. Yeah, like it's just, it's not and possible. It just, it has to be a day where like it's, we have break. Like school like spring break, winter break. Something yeah, like but that. like. We also don't have practices. At the same days. time, winter break. Okay. I want to go to see the snow again. I, I go, want to go see the snow. But For a I don't. Days. Like I do, but I don't, cause I do. like no. I do. We're going to like cabin. I don't know. I don't, I don't really like the cold again. that much. Mm -hmm. Also, we're already going on a like weekend trips once a month in January twice. Okay, and wait, that doesn't even start until December. Still, why do you need them now? Because your weekend trips are just watching you cheer. Those aren't like fun. It's not just that. They're to Orlando, Emily. We've been there a thousand times. There's like two to Orlando, Allison. There's some in Daytona. There's one in Kissimmee. There's Kissimmee one in... and Orlando, girl. Anyways, there's one in Nashville, Tennessee. I think we're just going to have to wait till summer, honestly, to just do all the fun things that we want to do. But I want to go to San Francisco. Do you want to go to San Francisco? What does it look like? It's where the Golden Gate Bridge is. Dude, I don't know anything about geography. <laughs> okay, my mom won't... I have work. a math test next Wednesday. My mom won't let me do. keep this film camera. So there's no roll in it. Yeah, that's why you buy rolls. You thought it came with a roll in it already. I know. That's what made me so annoyed, the fact that it didn't. But this, this is probably crap. Like, this is probably a really How bad much one. It was 40 bucks. And it didn't even come with a roll in it? Yeah, no, you it was better stupid. return there. Okay, I don't think I like outfitter, this though. necklace. Urban Outfitters is expensive. Yeah, I know. You no, know. can I? I need a fifty dollar gift card because I'm gonna order one on eBay. I have these ones. Okay, can you give me it? Like, look at her. She's so cute. No, yeah, she's no, she's not because look at this little brat. Let me show you guys this little brat. Where do you open it? Right here. Came with nothing. Oh, you're. I just paid for forty bucks for this plastic. No roll, nada. Like, it's literally not even, like, a brand. It's just this. Like, I was just, like, on... I was just in shock that it didn't come with anything. Like, I was actually, like, you're joking. But, whatever. Eh, smile. I'm gonna order one on eBay instead. I have to clean my whole room. It's almost 7 o'clock. I have to clean my whole room, and I have to... But I'm gonna go shower now, and I'm going to try to get my life together, because I said that, like, five hours ago, and I did not do that. So, I'm gonna try to do that now. I can actually do it, you know, because I need to actually do that. Guys, it's time to say goodnight. A52. We are tired. We have to take a shower. Um, we will see you tomorrow for another vlog. Peace out.